The X-T3 is a hardy camera whose quirky hardware interface tangled with myriad UI inconsistencies is glued to a responsive autofocus engine and is speedy to operate. It is a lovely machine whose whiz-pop internal computers chirp and chirp under a handsome fascia. It's also a fine movie camera that bristles with the necessary features. There's also a rumor that it has good microphone preamps, a solid DAC, and a good headphone amp. I say rumored because there's not a lot of concrete information out there about it. So here's where I come in. Nathan, amateur documenter of various headphone outputs from DACs to DAPs and mini displayers, recorders, is going to put it to the test as if it were a digital audio recorder. The procedure I followed is as follows. I plugged my reference DAP into its microphone line input, dialed the volume to a level that wouldn't clip the X-T3's preamps, and then I did the same to the output, monitoring levels through a Lynx technology helo. Basically, the X-T3 played the role of an in and out conduit, flexing both its input preamps and output amps as well as ADC. The file it was fed was 24-bit at 44 kHz, whose dynamic range tops out at 144 decibels. The DAP playing it back can do 120 decibels of dynamic range. As we can see, there's plenty of headroom for the X-T3's preamps and ADC, so don't worry your heads about that. The output file I saved to an SD card in the X-T3, but I didn't really get to test that necessarily, because mainly what I was testing was the real-time output from the headphone output, which was fed, of course, through the microphone preamps. I tested the X-T3's headphone output the way I test all sources and output devices, load running in parallel to the line. I also dubbed some Iggy Pop and Morrissey to the X-T3. What I came away with was real wild child belting out behind run-of-the-mill trad con scenery from the wheat field behind my house. And thus, I guess, the RMTV, or R Rightmark Audio Analyzer Music Television uh, advert was invented. If you've gotten this far, let me TLDR my findings. The X-T3's low amp hiss combined with ample current to voltage ratios keeps signal strong no matter the output. It runs the EarSonics SM2 stage monitors just as well as it runs hi-fi home headphones. And its microphone input, while super sensitive and lacking much headroom, is clean and picks up plenty of detail. Had I figured a way to get the files from my computer onto the X-T3, I might have found a higher ceiling than the minus 89.5 decibels my results show, but I'm a video noob. If anyone knows how to export an X-T3 readable audio file with video attached, do tell. Interestingly, the X-T3's headphone amp is more powerful than some mid-range DAPs out there, and it's less hissy than several released in the $100 to $700 price range from 2011 to 2019. That is, while its output dynamic range isn't super high, its amp is good. Regarding voltage and current, it is able to drive headphones about as well as an iPhone SE, which is no mean feat, honestly. Color me impressed. Yes, the X-T3 performs about as well as a low to mid-end DAP. While my current methodology can't test the X-T3 playing high-res audio recordings embedded in video, I can say that the X-T3 gets loud, is only moderately hissy, and it holds signal well no matter the headphone or earphone plugged into it. It's a bugger to access headphone and microphone controls, but that's a problem endemic to Fujifilm's X camera lineup anyway. As a camera primarily designed to be a stills camera, it's amazing that its video is so good, but it's even more amazing that the audio portion of its video is as good as <laughs> a dedicated audio player. So uh, Fujifilm, you done good. If I can figure out a way to get my music videos to play files that I've recorded or whatever, then uh, I think it's time to do an MTV uh, test <laughs> or test the X-T3 as perhaps a digital audio player, you know, with probably pretty bad battery life and horrible pocketability. But heck, if it works, let's do it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Eh?